So I've seen a lot of people buy the Samsung D Track Pro because they heard so many good things about it. And I heard how great of a microphone it was, but they want to put it on a mic stand and they don't know what to get or what, you know, shock mount to get or what mic stand to actually get. There's no type of guidance on this stuff, none. So I'm here to help clear the confusion. Um, I'm going to tell you what to buy, why to buy it. I'm also going to be comparing a few things. And I'm going to basically leave a list of stuff for you to get if you want to get the same stuff I got because I can tell you it works. I have it here with me. I can show you it works. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at some of the stuff you will need for this microphone. All right, guys. So we have the SP-01 over here on the left-hand side. This is the SP-01 shock mount condenser by Samsung in silver. This is uh, what it looks like right here. On the right hand side, we have the SP04, also by Samsung, black edition, um, shock mount condenser. And we also have the G Track Pro right here on the left hand side, and it's already threaded in. Now, one thing that has been brought to my attention is that the thread at the bottom of this shock mount condenser is too small for the G Track Pro. But as you can see right here, as I hold the mic up, that is not the case. It is perfectly threaded in. And I even demonstrate that by holding the microphone by the shock mount itself. And it does not go anywhere. Okay, so that thing is definitely in there, ready to rock, ready to roll. No issues whatsoever. So that is simply untrue for anyone who is saying that the thread is too small. Now, you do have access to all the knobs in the front. That's very important. You also have access to the ports in the back. Um, and and it, it, this just fits, man. This just fits. I mean, look at it. it. It's perfectly fit for this mic. Now, the SP-01 on the left-hand side, not so much the case. And I'm going to show you why it's not optimal for this microphone right now. All right, guys. So now we have the Samsung G-Track Pro and the SP-01. And let me show you why this is not optimal for this microphone, okay? So I almost got this stuck in here when I tried threading it in. So I'm not going to thread it in all the way. But I am going to show you a few problems I have with this shock mount for this microphone. The very first thing is the buttons and the knobs. As you can see, if you try to thread this microphone in any way, it is going to rotate. And when it does, it is automatically met with these metal pieces that are on the inside of the shock mount. So as far and low as this sits, you do not have access to any of these buttons. Even the thread itself at the bottom looks like it does not fit this microphone. So you are prohibited with your button usage for the knobs. You don't have access to the microphone or the instrument or the volume button. The microphone maybe um, because it's at the very top. But the instrument and the volume button, if you wanted to use those, good luck. They're all the way at the bottom, especially the volume one. You're going to have a lot of trouble if you are trying to use that knob because it's literally flush with the two rings that are on the shock mount. The inputs on the back are also covered, albeit you could use them if you really wanted to. It would be a pain to do so. And um, this just doesn't seem like it's optimal. Now, people have told me it's worked for them. They told me they were able to get it threaded on. I wasn't able to get it threaded on. When I tried to get it threaded on, I thought I had gotten it stuck. And I was very worried that I messed up the thread and I messed up the microphone. So I quickly tried to take it off and I never tried to put it back on again. But with the SP-01, it's definitely not optimal. You want that SP-04 for this microphone. Literally just looking at them side by side from what I've shown you. You can tell there's a day and night difference between the SP-01 and the SP-04. Okay, so for the rest of the build, we are going to use a nice, sturdy, and powerful microphone boom arm. Okay, um, so you're going to need a good boom arm. And then something else that I also have that you do not necessarily need is a pop filter. Um, so I do have a pop filter on the Samsung. It's a Samsung pop filter, but you do not need it. You do need a very sturdy and strong boom arm. 
it needs to be able to support and hold a lot of weight because the Samsung G Track Pro is a thick boy. It is a heavy boy. Um, and if you get one of the cheaper microphone boom arms that are available on Amazon and stuff of that nature, it will not be able to hold up the Samsung G Track Pro as much as you need it to. Anytime you try to get it into a certain position, it will fall because of the weight of the G Track Pro. And I'm speaking from experience as well. So please do not waste money by cheaping out on the microphone boom arm. You're going to need a good one. The one I have is the MBA 38 by Samsung. It is the middle of the MBA 48 and the MBA 28. Uh, if you want a longer boom arm, you're going to want to get the 48. If you want one that's in the middle, you're going to want to get the 38, which is what I have. And if you want one that's a little bit shorter, you want to get the 28. Now, the SP01, we already talked about that. Garbage. Throw it away. So we have the SP04. We're going to have the pop filter. Like I said, this is from Samsung. You do not have to get the Samsung pop filter. I just got it because it's really snug fits on really nice and honestly didn't seem like that much work but you do not have to get that you can get any pop filter that attaches onto a boom arm okay so that's going to be the rest of the parts that we will use all right guys here we are um this is the final build as you can see sp04 shock mount got the mba 38 microphone boom arm samsung as well um and then we have the samsung pop filter for the G-Track Pro. So as you can see, this works exactly how you need it to. Now, this microphone, you can tell is perfectly set up with the SP04. The SP01 is not horrible. It just isn't compatible, in my opinion, nor is it optimal because you don't have access to any of these knobs when you use the SP-01, okay? Um, I already told you, you need a good enough microphone uh, boom arm. If you don't have a good one, if you get a cheap one, uh, this microphone is too heavy that it will weigh it down and you won't be able to put it in whatever position you want to. So please take that into consideration. But this is the final build, final product. So you can see how it is. And you can see that it works. So I had a lot of trouble trying to find what to get for it. So I will be linking everything in the description for you so you don't have to deal with it. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. So as you can see with uh, the microphone we have here, it is now complete. Um, so I hope that cleared any confusion for anybody. I know personally myself, I was having a lot of confusion, um, surrounding which parts you should get. And, um, you know, it was very confusing. There was no guide on this microphone from Samsung itself that told you what to get. So I really hope this helps a few people not waste money and not waste time. I will be leaving a link for everything down in the description so you can go buy it. Um, I'll leave the link for all of the mic stands um, that come in the 28, 38, and 48 um, for the different types of length. I'll leave a link for the SP04, and I'll also leave a link for the pop filter if you want it. But that's totally up to you. Pop filter costs a little bit more money than some people are willing to spend on it. And you know what? It's your money. Um, Spend it how you wish. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, anything, please leave it down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you want to subscribe or like my content, please do so as well. If you don't like it, dislike it. Tell me why you didn't like it down in the comments. And um, yeah, stay tuned for my next video.